today why you'll be seeing more UPD officers on campus roads. And an update on our men's tennis team. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Vanessa Pearson filling in for Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen, and you're watching Spinnaker News. So, Alex, what's going on in the sports world today? Well, the swimming team got some commemorations, mm -hmm. and also the tennis team had a couple matches over the weekend, so we'll be going over that. Okay, I'm excited to hear about swimming. We haven't heard about them much. Yeah, they've been a bit under the radar or under the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, in other news, you may want to take extra caution when driving on campus this last few weeks of the semester. UPD plans to step up traffic enforcement efforts on all campus roads in an effort to ensure safety of students, faculty, staff, and visitors. UPD plans to put a particular emphasis on enforcing the speed limit with seatbelt laws with an increased presence of officers on every campus road and especially the area of Kernan Boulevard and Alumni Drive. This action comes just one week after the two-car collision on Kernan and alumni that put two drivers in the hospital after what appeared to be a high-speed race. Volunteer Services, along with the Military and Veterans Resource Center, are partnering with the Jacksonville USO to host supplies for soldiers. This donation drive serves the purpose of collecting items to send as care packages to local troops stationed overseas. Donation boxes are located at Career Services, the Military and Veterans Resource Center, and ACE. The drive will continue until next Tuesday, April 12th. Well, that's it for sports or news. Let's head over to Sports with Alex. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Lassen here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The North Florida swim team officially carved the names of the new school record holders on the wall of the entrance of the North Florida swim offices on Monday morning. The Ospreys set seven new school records this season and entered an incredible 32 new times into the program's all-time top 10 list. But the swimmers probably wouldn't be where they are without their head coach, Ian Kofi, who was named the 2015-2016 CCSA Co-Coach of the Year. Now moving on to baseball, the baseball team has a few games this week. Starting tonight, the team will face Bethune-Cookman to wrap up a season-long midweek series. The team will finish their midweek series tomorrow when they go head-to-head -head with Fame U in Tallahassee. The game will be the third time the Ospreys have played the Wildcats, so we're hoping to bring home another win. Best of luck to our guys tonight. Now we haven't talked about the men's tennis team in a while, but it was a big weekend for them. On Saturday night, the team finished with a 5-2 victory here at home against fellow A-Sun rival Kennesaw State. And on Sunday, for the second straight match, sophomore Lasse Miusiets grabbed the win for the tennis team against NJIT here at home. After this busy weekend of play, North Florida moves to 8-10 overall, but more impressively, 3-1 in A-Sun action, with just two conference matches left. If you missed out on the court action this past weekend, no worries as the team hosts its final regular season match this Thursday when the big rival Florida Gulf Coast visits. And finally, the last episode of Center Court will be airing tomorrow. Don't cry too much, but it will be airing at 7 p.m. on Channel 170 to check out host Ryan Hennessy and Alex Gatlin for the last time this semester. Well, that wraps up my sports segment. Let's head back to the desk. Thanks, Alex. You know, I'm pretty sad to see the last episode of Center Court. I was really, really excited for those guys. Me too. Maybe they'll come back in August, though, so that's to be seen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be excited for that. But also, I'm going to be excited for the new magazine that's going to be released tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. That's the old one, but the new one will be released. I can't wait. Um, I heard that there is some book reviews and some Netflix reviews in it, so I am going to be picking that one up as soon as it drops in the boxes. So you know what to read and what to watch. <laughs> exactly, exactly, because I'm a big Netflix fan. Well, Ospreys, that's all we have for you, but if you want more, you can check us out at unfspinnaker.com. Or you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. You can also look for us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. And we also have an app called Spinnaker. You can download it on the App Store or the Google Play Store totally for free. That's for Spinnaker News. I'm Vanessa Pearson. And I'm Alex Lassen. Have a great day, UNF.